In late January we seized the opportunity of a good weather window to go out and spend the day diving and exploring on Saddleback Island. Our first dive was on the eastern tip of the island, just north of Bommy Bay where we normally dive. We wanted to explore this area and see whether the corals were starting to bleach with the warm weather we'd been having and the high sea temperatures. There was a shallow shelf at about four or five metres as I went off down the slope and on this was very rich coral cover, all looking very healthy, no signs of bleaching with all their attendant little damsel fishes and then I dived off quickly down the slope into 10, 15 metres of water was confronted by a very large cod who eyed me up and opened his mouth and threat display at me and then I was down amongst the Gorgonians and black corals down in the deep reef down between 12 and 15 metres depth. It's really quite interesting and as usual quite murky. You can only see down here about 3 or 4 metres uh, but really interesting stuff and quite a few fish, especially the smaller damsel fish, swimming amongst all the, the sea life on the bottom. Here's my camera rig filmed most of this on. Twin video lights there. This is black coral, this ghostly white tree is actually black coral. Here's a lovely comb gorgonian. Lots of different gorgonian species down there, all oranges and reds, browns. here I was excited to come across a pincushion star, sort of like a huge inflated armless sea star, really lovely thing. And lots of these beautiful red ascidians. You only see the red colour when you shine the light on them, and at that sort of depth the colours are quite dark without the light. Here's a very large volcano sponge. I find these deep reefs endlessly fascinating, but I was at a depth of about 16 metres, so after 45 minutes or so I started to work my way up into the shallows again to decompress for the rest of the dive. And on my way up I came across this little group of butterfly fishes. There were quite a few of them and there were three different species all hanging around together. And to, swimming to and fro, looking at me. Then up in the shallows you start getting back into the more normal corals, the soft corals and hard corals. Things like these mushroom corals, which are always fascinating. Up in the shallows again I slowly work my way back towards the boat checking out the corals as I went and could find no 
strong evidence that the corals were starting to bleach even though the water temperatures had been around 30 degrees for some time. 30 degrees certainly makes the diving very pleasant but it's, not, it's getting up on the upper fringes for corals. Back in the boat after an hour and a half in the water, Avril was pretty keen to get ashore and feel solid land and have a bit of an explore. So we hopped in the squirt and a little kayak and I got on the stand-up paddleboard and we went ashore and had a clamber around on the rocks just looking at the wonderful vegetation that there is on Saddleback. Pretty tough, these golden orchids. It's almost too hot for me to stand on these rocks, let alone them grow on it. Back on the boat again, we up anchored and headed into the beach in Bommy Bay. We always like to have a bit of a walk on this beach and when, it, when the tide is high and explore the mangroves and the wonderful beach vegetation. You can only get in here at high tide. Wine glass beach. I don't know what name has it got. Bommy Bay because of the, the great big varieties bombing down. Yeah. Mm. Why not?
the tide was dropping so we had to get out of Bommy Bay and head off for our next dive site which was down on the uh, more southerly reef, southeasterly facing reef of Saddleback which has some uh, amazing places. We just were going to explore a new area of that we didn't normally dive on. hungry so before we went for our next dive some lunch was in order. Lunch. Good. Avril didn't want to do another scuba dive, so while I flew my drone, she went for a snorkel on the shallow reefs and uh, was then going to go and explore another beach, walk on another beach while I had a, a dive by myself. We're uh, quite used to diving by ourselves. Our normal way of diving is just to hop in the water and go our separate way and do our own thing and uh, a lot of experienced divers dive like that. Well, here we are at Saddleback Island again, one of our favourite places to come. And we're doing some diving, check out what the reef is doing, because the water's been so warm. want to uh, make sure that the reef is still all right. So I'm going to go down and have a look around here and see what's happening. Early in the dive, I again 
worked my way down onto what I call a deep reef, down 10 or 12 metres, where you start getting more interesting sea life. And one of the features of this bay is the huge fields of Goni Opera. This is a hard coral but looks quite looks and feels quite soft when the pollocks are expanded, which they are during the day. And they there are stands that are more than 20 metres across quite commonly on the deeper parts of this reef. You've also got lots of feather stars on the Gorgonians. And black corals as well. Again, white rather than black. It's the skeleton that's black. Sea whips are another common feature in these deeper parts of the reef. This ornate rock lobster was fairly nervous and felt me up with his antenna as I came close, but I left him alone. Here you can see a rubble bank that was created by a cyclone debbie when it broke up a lot of staghorn acropolis, but now there's lots of new corals starting to regrow on it. On the shallow reef I came across some patches that were covered in large brown seaweeds. This is fairly typical of fringing reefs. Getting towards the end of the dive I came across a patch of reef that was totally covered in many different varieties of soft coral. Some of these colonies were over five metres across, really spectacular place. After my second dive we still had an hour or so until the tide would be high enough to get the boat out at Dingo Beach. So we paddled ashore for a bit of an explore around the mangrove rock flat on the north end of Bommy Bay. Avril standing on a huge rubble bank, which is the remains of a lot of acropora corals thrown up by Cyclone Debbie.
then it was time to head back for the boat ramp after another wonderful day spent diving and exploring in our backyard.